Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are on the horizon, or what is on the horizon is the new moon in Leo. And this is something that I feel like for so many of us, we've really been so excited about it. And the reason why is because Mercury is finally direct and we're really trying so hard to invite fresh energy into our lives. This is a perfect time for me to come out here with some hot tea. Let's stay home, which is my vibe 100% late, lately. The rain is falling. I love this weather. It's one of the reasons why I came here. Franklin is currently on my lap. Let me show you my little fur baby. He is napping. I have a crystal in my bra. Serpentine <laughs> or serpentine. And we have the charts pulled. I have my notebook here fold all my little scribbles. I've got some cards pulled and we're going to talk about this Leo new moon. Now, first things first, it's really important for me to mention that Mercury is now currently direct, but just because it's direct doesn't mean that Mercury's in his strongest aspect. Like he's not in his strongest um, position right now. He's still kind of gathering. It's like when you wake up and you're a little groggy, that's the energy of Mercury currently at the time of the Leo new moon. So, with that, there is this stillness. Now, before you guys get frustrated, before you guys click out, please wait, wait, because there is something beautiful on the horizon. I'm definitely feeling that. I'm definitely sensing it. and showing up in the cards. But, um, yeah, Mercury is definitely still kind of building up his strength and his energy. And basically what I'm seeing intuitively as I'm looking at the charts and as I'm look, feeling the energy, like what's going on around us, it's like someone or something's kind of gathering information and gathering resources and collecting themselves. I don't know if you're going to hear something at the time of the Leo new moon. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you just might. There might be some information like a breakthrough, a break in the clouds, where it comes in the form of a letter or some type of information or a conversation or a text message that is that you receive. But right now, it seems like there is, I don't know if someone's thinking about what they're going to say or how they're going to say it, or someone is finalizing something. It almost feels like that's what I'm getting at for the for the new moon and around the new moon I'm almost sensing two to three days after it maybe the day of the new moon or the night of the new moon is when you're going to receive this contact receive this information have this conversation that's really important all of this is going to come directly from the heart it's so important that it does come from directly from the heart their word that just came through as I said that is to be courageous the reason why is because sometimes, you know, we can feel shy, we can feel vulnerable when we're sharing our heart's desires, we can feel shy with sharing what it is that we've been thinking and feeling, what we want to express. We can feel shy, like kind of dancing around it, but whether you're an introvert or an extrovert or whether this is something that comes easy to you and effortless to you, it just seems like the planets and what's going on energetically is encouraging, encouraging you to speak out and to speak from your heart and to not hold that back. It doesn't have to be a loud declaration of something. Sometimes it's very soft, sometimes it's very sweet. I'm seeing a lot of you guys, my tribe at least, have been are typically, I don't know if you were like introverts or something, but we're very quiet for some of us. Our power is coming through lately with how we express it and it's this really soft, gentle, compassionate way of articulating your feelings and your thoughts and maybe painting them or putting them out there or writing a song or listening to music it's something that isn't so obvious and loud even though Leo is very expressive and very forthcoming and in your face in a lot of ways I don't see that for everyone I just don't see it as this open declaration I feel it's very soft and sensitive and it's in these small moments that's something that's coming through too, and I've learned this a lot within the last few months because of these retrogrades with Saturn retrograde and Pluto retrograde and Mercury retrograde, is that so much of me and so much of the things that I've said have been so loud. I have almost reacted to certain things and my reaction to it, how has that affected my environment? How has that affected my intention? And I'm seeing that for so many of us, we're going within. It's like we're not declaring it. We're not announcing it out for the world. We're really starting to learn how to honor our space and to honor our voice in different ways so that people can actually hear it. And we're not trying to scream out into the abyss. It's almost like we're in a space where 
if you want to hear me, then you will listen and you will, you will look, you will look for me, you will hear what I'm saying and you will seek to understand it. And with that, there's more that there's more of a difference that is made versus this reaction, this yelling, this screaming that is happening all around our globe. So for those of you guys who are naturally loud and not put yourself out there, you're very expressive, there's no shade thrown your way at all. But even as I'm saying this now, I just feel like so many of us with this new moon, we're really coming to a space where maybe it's us where we're collecting our thoughts and collecting our voice, collecting our power. So as I'm looking at the chart, of course I'm seeing this new moon in the sign of Leo. I cannot mention Leo without mentioning the heart. That is just where I'm at in my life right now because when I see Leo, I think of the heart. The heart is the center of the body. If you think about it, the legs are there. They're, you know, they take up a lot of space as far, not space, but they take up a lot of you know, what makes up the body, but it's the core of the body is this, and the core of the core is the heart. And if you look at our solar system, if you look at our galaxy, you'll see that the sun is the center of our universe, or, well, not our universe, but the sun is the center of our, of our galaxy, like our little cosmic arrangement. And the sun is where all of the light source comes from all of life energy comes from and the same is true within us when we have a new moon in the sign of leo what we have is a focus a, a heart-centered focus what is it that you are being attracted to when i say attracted i don't i'm not talking about lower vibrational energy i'm talking about higher vibrational energy when you sit with something when you sit with someone when you sit with this idea how does it make you feel does it make the heart feel good because if the heart feels good it will literally pump that good blood that good energy all throughout your entire body and give the rest of your body life it goes to your brain it goes to your fingertips it goes to your toes and it comes right back to the heart but it all comes from the heart center without the heart we can't have life without the sun we can't have life and what i'm seeing with the new moon is connecting again back to that quietness for some of you guys you might need to retreat for some of you guys a lot of you guys you actually have been retreating you've totally disconnected from the outside world you've disconnected from family and friends you've maybe even disconnected from aspects of yourself in order to refine your center in order to refine your core again and that is so beautiful for some reason and i keep i've been saying this a lot home is where the heart is where do we belong i'm seeing this home the heart being surrounded and supported and feeling safe and secure and while you're in this space, this sanctuary, where even if your environment is a little turbulent, you might even be experiencing homelessness because some people are actually in that space right now because of everything that's going on with their root chakra, with Saturn being retrograde and Pluto being retrograde, their home environment is being taken down. I have a lot of my friends who are kind of like experiencing that right now. Even within that, you can create a safe space for yourself, a sanctuary where you reconnect back in with your body, with your heart, and you ask yourself, what is the greatest vision that I can see for myself? Because that's where I'm headed, that's where I'm going. And keep that blood, keep that life energy, that life force pumping throughout your entire being. In fact, as I'm saying that, that's what I'm seeing for this overall Leo energy for the new moon is body care. Do you see how this little angel is actually protecting, like wrapping themselves around themselves and protecting the core, protecting their heart? That's because that is the center of everything. That's the center of our, of our life. For a lot of you guys, I want to jump into this. I'm actually seeing new love. I'm seeing new direction within a relationship so maybe it's an, a relationship that you've been in for a while but it takes on a new course a new direction and for those of you guys that have been waiting this is the new moon to 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 set the intention for new love and new energy to come in if you feel an attraction towards someone it is time for you to set magic and intention around that and to stop limiting yourself when it comes to that how does that person make you feel do they adore you? There are so many of you guys who are so 100% unconditionally adored by someone, and yet so many aspects of yourself are very much doing this right now, where you're kind of guarding your heart and protecting your heart. It's very two of swords. Now, I'm not pointing fingers and I'm not placing blame because we all have our paths. We all have our certain directions, but there comes a point where it's time for you to kind of let that wall down and when you're ready, you'll do it. But at the new moon, at the time of the Leo new moon, I want you to reconsider opening your heart up again. Maybe it's not a specific person, 
Maybe it's opening yourself up to new love or considering something that you used to love or that loves you and that chooses you and you deciding, you know what, this is actually, I feel at home here. For so many of you guys, you know, Saturn retrograde, Pluto retrograde, and Mercury retrograde, and also Jupiter retrograde, there's been a lot of miscommunication, there's been a lot of fighting, there's been a lot of discord, a lot of like ships, you know, missing each other, sailing in the night and just missing each other. And it's like, how do we keep missing each other? How do we keep missing the ball? Why can't we come together? Like, what is it that things aren't connecting us and pulling us together? And one thing about that is divine timing. Timing just wasn't right. That's something that we always have to look up to the stars for is timing. It's all, it's all written in the stars. It's given to us by God, the divine, in order to show us and teach us, like, this is the right time to do it. This is not the right time to do it. Well, now that Mercury is now direct at the time of the Leo new moon and the focus is on the heart, it's like, look, you know what? If I look back at this relationship, I can see that what was missing was our communication was a fail. Or I could see that you needed to take time for yourself to heal and I needed to take time for myself to focus on my career or whatever the case is, it's different for everyone. But now that things are different and now that we've experienced that, I want us to see and examine the fact that there is an attraction here, there is a bond here, there is a chemistry that is bubbling up and brewing between us and pulling us together and maybe we should explore that maybe it's not with a specific person maybe it's with a job an opportunity and you're starting on this new phase this new wave in your life instead of you being guarded and protected and being like okay this can't happen or this isn't going to work maybe consider the fact that in the past it didn't work because timing wasn't right but it's going to work now because you are attracted to it, you're being pulled to it, your heart is guiding you. The Leo new moon is going to be a, sig a significator. I, I butcher words all the time. As much as I'm a, words, a wordsmith and I love working with words, and I love writing and speaking to you guys, I butcher words all the time, <laughs> all the time. But it's a, it's a signal of what is happening in our lives right now as far as collective, like collective timing. For some of you guys, you really have, it almost feels like you've been getting dragged by the universe. You're being dragged by the cosmos, dragged by cer certain circumstances. And so many, so much of this is guarded and protected. And I understand that. But still at the same time, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what you've been through, something within you is still trying. Something within you is still persistent. Something within you has a little bit of faith. Something within you wants to try again and still has love there. And I want you guys to hold on to that. Like really hold on to that because there's something significant within that. Be upset with the timing. Be frustrated with the timing. Don't be upset with your career. Don't be upset with the idea. Don't be upset with your love life. Don't be upset with the fact that you do want love for yourself. Timing might have been off. Be frustrated with timing. Don't be frustrated with what it is that your heart truly wants. Don't beat up on that thing because the potential is very much still there. So I know that for, for a lot of you, I'm seeing that you need to have confirmation for what it is that I'm saying. You won't take my words as, words as bonds and I appreciate that about you because I myself am a person who wants facts. Show me the facts, show me the proof, or you ain't got nothing for me. For those of you guys who are like that and I understand, we see this double card right here of new love, new love. We see new love here and we're seeing new love here. And that to me is the biggest confirmation and clarity that there is this new direction that's happening within your current love life. So go ahead and set intention and work your magic around taking that in the direction. But at the same time, I don't want you to strive towards it. I don't want you to have a plan in your head. I want you to really stay open to this. There is a really strong element of surprise that I've been feeling just collectively when I'm working with my angels and my guides and when I'm working with the charts and with the cards and intuitively we don't need to be trying to figure out how things are going to work. I know that you guys know that but we need to be reminded of this even myself. You don't need to know how things are going to work out just know that they're, they are going to work out just know that they're working themselves out. So if you see something and if you feel something and that's something that you want to attract into your life set the intention for that but don't like create rules and regulations for how it's going to happen. We really want to stay open to, to being flexible and fluid with how this is going to manifest itself. The next cards that I'm seeing here are the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. And I think I talked to you guys about this. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. 
I think I talked to you guys about the Queen of Pentacles earlier this week in this week's forecast for the week ahead. Something about the Queen of Pentacles lately is connecting this to the heart for me. Something about this, and this Page of Cups confirms that even more so. Because the Page of Cups is connected to our compassion, our heart, our feelings, our romance our creativity, our sensitivities. And then I have, and it just confirms what I was feeling earlier. I just see the Queen of Pentacles being, you know, earth energy, but she's taking care of the physical body and she's paying attention to the physical body, but emphasis on the heart. What does the heart want? What's the heart desire? And she's tending that and giving to that. So that's what it is that I'm seeing. And I'm seeing this again as new love. I'm seeing this as a new investment. I'm seeing this as Timing is, is right now, finally in a space where it feels right, it feels different, and it feels like now is the time to bring this in and to attract this into your life without forcing, without striving towards it. Just let the universe kind of carry you and take you after you speak it out, after you put it out there. Back what I was saying in the beginning of this video where there's this softness here, this quietness. It's not so out Word. It's not so aggressive. It's not so in your face. It's very intentional and very respectful of your space, my space, their space, our space. When you're connecting with your heart and when you're calling things out, I'm really seeing this connection to soft, gentle herbs and flowers. So roses, like sweet roses, lavender, chamomile, calendula for some reason. So I think that's actually the herbs that I'm going to work with while I'm going, when I'm going to make the Leo intentional oil which is available in the shop now for pre-order at the time of the leo new moon the next thing that i'm seeing for this new moon again is the connection to dreams it's so funny that i'm saying that and that this is the card that jumped out because i did mention that in this week's forecast and for those of you guys that didn't get a chance to see that it's up on my youtube channel you can go ahead i'll probably like link the links down below. Why am I having a hard time talking right now? Probably because Mercury is like, hey girl, what's up? There's a connection to our dreams and how our subconscious is always sending us signals and signs to help us, to guide us. And interestingly enough, if you are a Christian or if you're not a Christian, if you look at the Bible, God has an interesting way of coming to us when we are least in a space of least resistance. And that usually uh, happens when we are in prayer or meditation or we are sleeping. So no matter what your de denomination, no matter what your belief system is, whether you're a Wiccan or a Christian or whoever, I'm seeing an emphasis on dream work, working with your dreams and asking God, the divine, to speak to you, asking your angels and your guides to speak to you or your ancestors to come to you when you are at most still, whether you're meditating, whether you're praying, or whether you're in a dream, a dream state. That is where you're going to get new ideas, new clarity, and new direction in your life. And this is something that I definitely saw and felt earlier. Where is my phone? Sorry about that. But this is something that I saw in the weekly forecast for the week ahead, and it's repeating itself for the Leo new moon. So I really want you guys to pay attention to that and put a pin in it. At the time of the Leo new moon, I want you guys to let go of all your control issues. There, it's a huge thing for some reason that I'm seeing and that I'm feeling, just like the heart kind of naturally pumps itself. You're not even thinking about it, but right now, if you put your hand over your heart and over your chest, you will feel your heart beating. And if that's just its job, that's its responsibility. You don't have to think it to control it. It's just doing it all on its own because that's what it's designed to do. The same thing is what it is that I'm seeing when it comes to your intention and your attention. Take your attention away from manifesting as far as you forcing your will, it's going to do it whether you know that it's happening or not. Just like the heart keeps beating, your intentions are manifesting themselves and pumping themselves throughout their life. They're arranging themselves in the way that is for your highest and greatest good. And that is something that you can't actually control unless you start getting into a hyper, hyper sense of anxiety or anxiousness. And then you lock that up. Just like when you get anxious, the heart stops, starts pumping faster and faster and faster, but it's putting out a lot of like fight or flight responses throughout your entire body. We want to relax the body. We want to calm the body. We want to center ourselves. We want to focus again back on body care. How does your body, your physical body feel? Focus on the heart and the health of the heart so that it's pumping that good vibration 
vibrational energy all throughout your body and also your body physically needs to have vitality in order to be strong and to have a good life. The next thing that I'm seeing for the Leo new moon is very soon. I feel like there's something very much on the horizon for so many of us. This is very exciting. Um, I feel this. I really feel this. In fact, I've been seeing a lot of confirmation and feeling. Feelings are everything, but I've been feeling a lot of confirmation for things that I would normally doubt and I would normally second guess. Like, let's say it's a post on my Instagram that I see on someone's timeline. I'll see it and I just, it resonates. When before, I would doubt that that would be something that I would be experiencing, but lately, my feeling is like, the answer is yes. And the first thing that I started seeing the first change was actually it came to me through my dreams and then it was okay I'm seeing this in my dreams let me go to my altar let me set intention let me let go of my need to control everything which is so hard for me as a Virgo I'm gonna release my need to control I'm gonna release my need to understand I'm just gonna let it leave it up to the higher power let them do what they're going to do and manifest and when I tell you the feelings that I have of confirmation and clarity that this is manifesting in my life and probably at the time of the new moon is 100%. So that's something that I'm feeling here for us, is that this is going to happen very, very soon. The next thing that I'm seeing to control, not to control, but that's so funny that that's the word that came through just now was control. But the next thing that I'm seeing that I wanna tell you guys is nine of swords and four of swords. These cards are very similar, but they're also polar opposites. They're similar because they connect to the mind. One aspect of the mind is overactive and the other one is relaxing and going into a space of restoration. It's calm, it's centered, and it's sleeping. So instead of going in a space of, okay, I am anxious, I don't know what's going to happen, where am I gonna go, how's this going to happen, is this going to manifest, what's happening with my partner, what's going on with my children, what's going on with my career, all of that anxiousness, it pushes all of that fear throughout your entire body and that's all you're gonna get back in return. Remember, at the time of the Leo new moon, we are going to loosen our need to control things and we're gonna let go, we're gonna let go, we're gonna let go, we're gonna be free, we're gonna flow. So what I'm seeing is going into a space of sleep. It's almost like sleep magic. So maybe at the time of this Leo new moon, I will make my prophetic sleep oil because maybe some of you guys need to re revisit that and return back to that. I will, I'll do that. There's a lot of sleep work and dream work that we need to do, and maybe some of you guys need to do some bath soaks in order to help relax your body and go back to your heart. I have been doing that to the point where my bathtub, as we speak, is currently clogged up with all of the herbs that I've been using. Don't tell my landlord. Hopefully he's not down there listening. It's raining, I doubt it. But literally my tub, at the, at the moment of me filming this, and I'm so sorry to my landlord if you're listening to this or if you follow me on Instagram or YouTube, that beautiful roll of thunder that's currently happening right now. But my tub is, I've been taking baths like every other night. Protection soaps, goddess soaps, new moon soaps, um, gentle spirit soaks, all these soaks that I've been using are in my shop currently. I use them for myself to relax my body. They have been working wonders. And I think that's why I'm in such a heightened state of vibration lately. Like my, vibe, my vibes are on next level, next level. And it was all revolving around my heart and self-care and self-love. I never had issues with loving myself, but something about my heart felt really blocked and beat up and worn down and exhausted after last year, all the things that happened last year. And then when I moved to New Orleans, everything was like active around me and I still needed some extra space, some sacred time. But even in that sacred space, that sacred time, it felt discord. I felt, I felt very anxious. I felt very disconnected from myself. And I was coming back to myself and learning different aspects of magic and in this new magical environment. So one thing that was doing it for me in order to help me to come back to center was the bath soaks, the intention, and to sleep and to you know eat and to focus on my physical body first and everything else started falling into place. So that's what it is that I'm seeing for this Leo new moon. I'm thinking about doing a pick a card reading for you guys, but I'm very hesitant on that because I'm seeing that the pick a card environment on YouTube is starting to become a little bit toxic and I don't want to be a part of that. But I do want to do it in a way that I see it as healthy. So if there's certain topics that you guys want me to touch on with the next pick a card reading, I'm more than happy to do that. Let me know down in the comments. If you are interested and if you want to be a part of my magical process, a part of it because I don't share everything at the time of the new moon which is going to be on the 1st of August I can't believe it's August already but okay that's where we're at at the time of the new moon I am going to be sharing my process 
a part of my pro process on my Instagram, so make sure that you're following me in my IG stories. I don't go live with it anymore because too much uh, people's eyes on it makes me feel uncomfortable. But um, I, do, I have been sharing a little bit more of that process, and I'll be sharing that with you guys again. And you can reserve your bottles for that oil. For those of you guys who are like, well, Jess, how do you use the oils? I have videos up for you explaining how to work an intentional oil on my website and also on the YouTube. A quick uh, search will do that for you, and you'll see Bahati Life, how to use intentional oils and how I use them. We'll have a full breakdown for you. In the meantime, I am seeing that my Instagram is currently blowing up. I'm seeing a lot of comments coming in, so I, I guess you guys are responding to something that I recently posted. I'm going to get this video up for you guys as fast as I can because I'm a little bit delayed, but uh, I want to invite you to make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Welcome to the rainy season of New Orleans, which I am living for. That is my wind chime. That is the air conditioning cutting on in the back. That is the rain off in the distance, and by distance I mean just a hand's reach away. That's Franklin snoring in the background. Those are my fuzzy slippers. That's my cozy cup of tea. That's my laptop with the light glowing with the astrology chart. These are my cards. This is me, this is you. Sending you all my love, bye.